Today we have four artists. You have a mystery item under your plate. Go ahead and lift it up. What the heck? Oh, this looks like a nose trimmer. <laughs> this is a 3D pen. And this is what you're gonna put in your 3D pen. Whoa, whoa. You have seven hours to make a piece of art using your 3D pen. Whoever has the best one wins five grand. What? what? Go! What? Oh my god! You will be splitting it with a subscriber I'm gonna pair you with in a little bit. I personally have no idea how to use it, so here's an instruction manual. Don't touch the tip, it's hot. Mackenzie, I just said don't touch the tip. What are you gonna be making for your piece of art? I have no idea yet, but I just made my name. What are you gonna make? I'm going to make a Minecraft creeper. I've decided that I'm going to make a dragon. I'm gonna be doing a spider. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and try to make this little mini chameleon. You know what, we're gonna make this very interesting. I'm gonna let you guys choose who you think will win. If that person wins, I'll give you an extra hundred dollars. Nice. Jess, who do you think will win? Why are you gonna do me like that? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Michelle, who do you think will win? You can bet on yourself if you want. I do for Jake, how about you? Jazz is gonna win. Based off of analytics and statistics, so I'm just gonna say Jake. All right. <laughs> Just on statistics, clear, not they, on just, any of my abilities. No. Also, I'm about to pair you guys up with a subscriber right now. What's gonna happen is you'll be competing for the subscriber, but for some incentive, if you win, I'll give you $500, and the rest of the money will go to the subscriber. Sounds good. Artists, one more thing. If you don't win, you go for a swim. <laughs> Everyone, over the next few minutes, I'm gonna be pairing you up with a subscriber. Yeah! We're doing ZHC crafts right now, and it's really hard, but I'm trying, I'm trying my best. If I win this challenge, you can win up to $5,000. Do you have any advice for me? Well, you can do a creeper. So yeah. Do I'm actually gonna start with like a spider web and a spider, you know, something simple. Do you have any words of wisdom for me, like tips or anything? Pick like warm or cool colors. If I win, I have the chance to win up to $5,000 for you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> make it, make it outside the box. Make it. Everyone, give me a number from one through 10. Five, six, three, three, two. All right, so the number you said is how many times you're gonna roll this exercise ball. Oh! Well, let's just do whatever you got times five. <laughs> Jess, so you have 125 push-ups to do. <laughs> Michelle, roll it. Michelle, you have 120 jumping squats. All right, Jake, you have 60 jumping jacks. No, not burpees! Oh, 40 burpees with a push-up. Keep yeah. that in mind, Mackenzie. Oh. Give me all the kids and get doing the burpees. Give me all. I'm getting such a huge headache from this. I'm gonna go take a nap. Michelle. Yeah! I think I'm gonna attempt to make Grogu's face. Hey Jay, what part of Baby Yoda is that? His name's Grogu, but it's gonna be the head, hopefully. First person to make a cube gets to break a piece off of anyone's art and add it to their own. Go! Okay, it needs to be a new one. Look at it. <laughs> That's a cube? Oh no, Jess! What? It's still a cube, Zach! So Jess, congrats. 
you win this mini challenge. <laughs> So as you can see, they're finally settling in and learning how to use their 3D pens. Even Jake. What? Now, we are gonna play a simple game of rock, paper, scissors. Oh. And if you lose, you have to use your left hand. Oh. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. Shoot. Ooh. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, so it's been around 30 minutes. Jazz, play me again in rock, paper, scissors. If you win, you get to go back to using your right hand. If you don't win, you're stuck with it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh! All in all, I think they're doing okay. I'm just not sure if they're gonna have enough time to finish. But, yeah, we'll see. We have some fun challenges coming up. Time for a mini challenge. Roll to see what you have to do and multiply it by one. 20 jumping squats, 20 times 4, 80 burpees. Oh, 8 minutes of links is nothing. Mackenzie, you have 75 crunches. Jake, Jess, are you too tired of using your left hand yet? All right, so you can stop. If you beat me in this game of rock, paper, scissors. Oh. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! <laughs> I'm dying! <laughs> Currently 2 a.m. Michelle and I are still up. Yes, I am done with Mr. Bacon. Ugh, cutting into... Ooh. So I'm back, it's 7.51 in the morning. I just made Grogu's little chip. So he's gonna be in there. She's been up since four o'clock in the morning and she got up and started working at what, six? And this is all I've gotten done. Eight o'clock in the morning and I'm still working on my little chameleon and he's looking a little lonely so I'm gonna put this by next to him. All right, so as you guys know, it's the next morning. You guys have five minutes left. Jake, it looks like you still have a lot to do in this basket. Grogu, like, flies around. Ooh. Oh, very impressive, Mackenzie. Oh my goodness, you chopped your dragon. Yeah. What happened? Well, ah! So my prediction was that Mackenzie's was gonna look really, really good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time is up. Good job, everyone. All right, so I think it looks really, really cool. I like how it's interacting with its environment. I would say, however, would have been kind of cool to see a little cricket over here or a fly. Very impressed with your creeper. I can't believe you made an entire barn. That is, that is really good, and then you have these little blocks. Good job. Yay! So I really like the attention to detail, especially the pinks in the face, the cheeks especially. Good job, Jake. And finally, Mackenzie. Definitely a lot of attention to detail. Has a tongue in here, that is very cool. I like, I like how you have a lot of different colors on here. You have spikes. Great job. But with that being said, only one of you will win. Before I start eliminating people, Jake, yours is the only one that isn't complete. I'm sorry, Jake. Unfortunately, I feel like compared to the other contestants, yours had a little less volume, a little more see-through, you are eliminated. And this is actually kind of interesting. Michelle, you placed your bet on Mackenzie, so either way, you're getting money. It's a win-win for me. <laughs> Mackenzie, who did you bet on? I bet on Jake. Ooh. Since this is a very close matchup, I'm gonna let my subscribers choose. Yeah! The results are in. I feel bad, I wish both of you could win, but the winner is... Any guesses? Oh, oh, Mackenzie! Oh! 
Now what happens is get to play me rock, paper, scissors. You have five tries. Each time you win, you win $1,000 for your subscriber. You are playing for Ivy. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah! That is $1,000 for Ivy. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Shoot, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. No! Okay, no! You tied all the other ones. So I won you $1,000, but then Zach also said that I could give my 500 to you. You're gonna win $1,500. Yeah, you're welcome. Whatever you make with a 3D pen, I'll pay for. Not only for you, but for a subscriber too. If you make a car, you and your subscriber get a car. You make a house, both you and your subscriber gets a house. Rules are simple, only the best one will win what you make. You have 20 hours. Go! I want to make Mr. Bacon. If you win, I'll buy you a pig. <laughs> so I'm thinking I kind of want to make a spaceship or a private jet, a UFO, something that flies. There will be a punishment. No. If you lose, you have to do 100 math problems. No! No! no. Everyone, usually I assign you with a random subscriber. This time Michelle's gonna video call the subscriber and the subscriber will choose which artist they want. I'm gonna go with Mackenzie. She's got Hi! I'm doing a dinosaur. <laughs> If you win, you'll get a real life dinosaur fossil. Okay, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Who would you like to choose? Going with you. With me? I'm not last! I am making a pig. Oh, I'm gonna go with Jazz. Is there any animal that you think I should make in specific? Um, in I really like alpacas. I'll pick Viv. Viv? All right, Viv, get over here. Okay, so I'm making a laptop with a creature coming out of it. So if I win, we both get a new laptop. You have a choice between two amazing artists. Artist number one, Jake. We're the last picks. And artist <laughs> number two, Izzy. Why? Uh, number one. I'm going to be making, with the 3D pen, a pair of Apple AirPods Max. So I'm making us a drone. Do you have a drone? I don't have No, I don't have one either. Ow, I smacked myself. So far, I'm making the head of Spider-Man. These 3D pens have two settings, fast mode and slow mode. Oh, no. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Paper, scissors, shoot. Jazz, put it on slow mode for an hour. Shoot, slow mode for an hour. Shoot. Ooh. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes! In your face, loser. Dubs only. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Put it on slow mode. I've been using it on medium speed, so I don't feel like this will be too bad. Oh my goodness, still in slow mode and it's taking like a minute just to come out of the thing. Speed it up over here. <laughs> Mackenzie, Izzy, Jazz, it has been one hour since you got slow mode. Now you get to play me again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh, you're still <laughs> on slow mode, Mackenzie! Scissors, shoot! <gasps> yes. Paper, scissors, shoot! <laughs> All right, everyone think of a number from one through six. Show me on your finger what number you want to choose. Mackenzie, you have two. The number was two. So here's what you're going to be able to do. Take anyone's project so far. Oh, no, 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 no. For real? Oh. <laughs> All right, bye guys, I'm done for the day. <laughs> Jake, what about your subscriber? Where on earth did Jake go? I literally worked on that for three and a half hours. I just started to use the 3D pen. Come downstairs, you need to hug it out with Mackenzie. I know you're hurting inside. I'm hurting, yes. Aw, that's sweet. Now get back to work. Made a promise to myself this time I will keep it. When there's a will, yeah, there's a way. With every smile, with every tear, I know I will make Michelle, this is yours. <laughs> Ok, 
Mackenzie, your one hour is up. Play me in rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh, Mackenzie! <laughs> Slow mode for another hour. Does anyone else want to join Mackenzie? Well, that's not for you to decide. Mackenzie, you're going to be doing an extra hour, but the interesting thing is you're going to be able to select one other artist and make them go on slow mode for an hour as well. Take someone down with you. Thanks, Mackenzie. Yeah. I'm just making a pig. Oh. You know, but you're going really fast, so I feel like slow mode. <laughs> <laughs> with that being said, we have something fun. So for this challenge, Michelle and Mackenzie, you guys can go on fast mode. You have five minutes to make the tallest structure possible. It can't be based off of any of your other ones, and you can't add anything extra like wires or paper or tubes to it. Three, two, one, go! All right, Jazz is going for a circular method. Izzy's is pretty tall so far. Ooh, Michelle's is pretty tall. I'm not sure what he's going for. And Mackenzie is just stacking on. The winner gets a huge advantage. Okay, Jake, it looks like you're gonna lose. Holy crap, Mackenzie's in the lead. All right, one minute left, let's go. Michelle, make sure it stands up at the end. Three, two, one, 3D pens off. Mackenzie's is 13 inches. I don't even think I need to measure Jake's. What? Michelle's, nope, 11. That is 11 and a half, 12. Mackenzie, you have 13 inches, which is longer than everyone else's over here. I feel very accomplished. Here's what you get. You can grab one of the artists and make them make art with you for an hour. Second advantage, we have five contestants. You're gonna make them do burpees. However, one of them gets 20, one of them gets 40, one of them gets 60, one of them gets 80, one of them gets 100. You choose. Michelle, you do burpees really fast, so you can get 80. <laughs> Jazz, you're cranking out so pretty fast over there. Viv, you're also cranking out stuff fast. So you can get Izzy gets Izzy 20, because this is a right. it looks like Jake, you have 100. Michelle, you have 80. Jazz, you have 60. Viv, you have 40. Izzy, you have 20. Go do them. I honestly was expecting to get the 100 burpees in the first place, so I'm not surprised, and I'm going to knock them out. I finished my 20 burpees. Just finish my burpees. Run. Nah. Hey Mackenzie, so were you gonna add someone to your team? Oh, Viv can get you early. All right, Viv, come over here. Viv, for the next hour, you have to help Mackenzie. <laughs> I'm gonna let Viv go early because there are, are just a lot of things that I can't really explain how to do. It is 8.45. I have the headband done for the most part and I think I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna be back at three in the morning for you, Connor. It's three a.m. in the morning. I am so tired. Okay, so I think I'm all done with my dinosaur and now I'm gonna be off to bed at four o'clock in the morning. I'm back to the house. It's around five in the morning. I'm honestly very surprised to see Izzy and Viv are still working. So I think I'm gonna go to bed now. It's currently 5.16 a.m. Okay, so I literally stayed up 20 hours making this drone. I'm tired and angry. Five, four, three, two, one. Everyone, stop. Time is up. Right, you guys are gonna present from left to right. Mackenzie? So I have a Velociraptor's full-on complete skeleton. 
and then there's also a plaque. We did have some concerns regarding your use of paint and we did go over. Technically this time I didn't say you couldn't use it, so we're not going to judge based on the paint, we're going to judge based on the structure and next time if you do that again, you'd be disqualified. The structure's really incredible and it, it looks like a real dinosaur fossil. I made a pair of AirPods Max. These are actually detachable. Oh, really cool. nice noise. Just like, you know, the actual thing. Very interesting. I like the functionality. You got the form really nice up there. This time, instead of making Mr. Bacon in a barn, I made a Mr. Bacon house. It has a door. <laughs> <laughs> I made an ender dragon to protect my house and I made a crafting table and a bed inside. Your Mr. Bacon house is extremely clean. I can't believe it has a working door. That's ridiculous. So I made a super space drone with all these different colors and patterns. This is it says drone in Japanese. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, it says ZHC, of course. I would say in general, since it's more of like a badass piece, these make it a little more like kiddish. So I have a really special heartfelt piece today. This is a tribute out to the endangered turtles out there. It was really hard to make. It has some little different greens. <laughs> Jazz, not gonna lie, I'm surprised you even got to have a turtle done. Considering just like an hour or two ago you only had two fins. So I decided I wanted to make a laptop with a Spider-Man coming out of the screen and I did all the letters and the numbers and the keyboard and then also the Apple logo lights up. What? <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. Got it. Oh, that's cool. So as you know, we can only pick one winner and for that we need a judge, which won't be me today. We're doing things a little bit different. Camera crew, I'm gonna take the cameras and you guys are gonna come up here. What? <laughs> Gabe, Shane, and Arno, come on up. Don't be shy. Feel free to be extra critical today. All right, so just take a look around. Keep your comments to yourself. Videographers, step in the middle. Starting off with Arno. Eliminate someone. Wait, I'm gonna have to go with Jazz. Jazz, I'm sorry. You're out. Shane, eliminate the next person. I have to go with Jake. Ooh. Gabe, eliminate someone. I'm sorry. Mackenzie, because you have to tell Michelle she's out. <laughs> Arno, eliminate one more person. Mackenzie. Oh! <laughs> Viv, Izzy, bring your pieces to the center. Shane, which one is your favorite? Probably Izzy's. Ooh. Arno, pick your favorite one. I'm going to have to go with Viv. Oh. Izzy one, Viv one. Gabe, keep in mind, one person walks away with a really, really nice and expensive item. One person has to do hours of math. Drum roll. Ah. Oh! Good job, Viv. Izzy, math! Viv, do you have anything to say to the people watching and for your subscriber um, that literally won a laptop just by subscribing? Yes! I'm so happy for my subscriber and subscribe if you want to win stuff like this. All right, everyone else, grab your school supplies. We're going back to math class. Hi. Hi. I won the challenge, which means you just won a new MacBook. You're welcome. You said that you were in school and that you didn't have a laptop? Yeah, I don't. I'm using my uncle's laptop right now. This is perfect then. Now you have one. Thank you. Okay, take care. Bye. I'm the math teacher for today. This is my TA, which just so happens to be the winner of this challenge. So here's what's gonna happen. In front of you, you have a hundred question math test. And no, it's not easy. The two lowest scores will get punishments in the upcoming crafts video. The second lowest score will get their right hand duct taped to their body for the entire crafts challenge. And the lowest one will do that and they have to wear a Minecraft mask. You have two hours, remember, your name in the upper right hand corner. Let's start. All right, so RTA has the answer sheet. You can go ahead and start grading them. The results are back. We're gonna hand them out from highest to lowest. Michelle, you got 86 out of 100. Mr. Jake Riley with a score of 72 out of 100. With a score of 71 out of 100. Izzy. Good job. With a score of 67 out of 100. Mackenzie. 
Jazz, unfortunately, you were the lowest with a score of 61 out of 100. I bought 10,000 sheets of colored paper to make origami. We have six artists and 10,000 sheets of paper. You will all have six hours to make the best origami art piece. Winner wins up to five grand for a subscriber. Yeah! <laughs> and as usual, I'll toss in $500 to whoever wins this. Also, losers go in a slime bath. Whoa! You have six hours, go! At this time, I'm gonna color blue because it seems like most of the winners have been using the color blue to win. What? What does that even mean? Today, we're doing things a little different. You're gonna choose a random topic that your competitors came up with. Dinosaur! Uh. <laughs> <Yeah>. Dragon? <laughs> yeah. Zoo? Alright. All right, Viv got a dragon, which means, Michelle, you have to make a robot. You can thank Izzy. The winner of the origami challenge can win up to $5,000 for their subscribers. So I'm going to be making a dragon. I don't know, a dragon seems pretty hot. Do you have any words of encouragement for me or anything? You should win. <laughs> <laughs> I have the okay. chance to win up to $5,000 for you. I'm currently making a robot dragon. Okay. Honestly, I don't know how to do that, but I'm going to try my best. I have all my faith in you. Please Thank you. Win. I'm Jazz. Nice to meet you. Have any advice on animals I should make? A frog? Ooh, a frog. That would be a good idea. The first person to fold a paper crane will get this. Anytime during this challenge, you are allowed to make one cut in someone's origami piece. <laughs> everyone ready? Go! Come on, everyone. Make that paper crane. Once you're done with your crane, lift it up in the air and I'll come check it. Paper's not yeah, why is this paper like Izzy has no idea what she's doing. <laughs> I feel like this is a battle between Michelle and Viv. You guys are getting very close. Ooh, Mackenzie's finally getting somewhere. Great. What? Oh my goodness, Michelle! Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? what? This makes no sense. Michelle, <laughs> this is Jake's piece of paper. Stop roasting me. <laughs> Well, Michelle, this is for you to use. If you notice anyone's piece of art and you think they're gonna be one of your big competitors, you can go ahead, snip that entire thing in half. What? I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna go play some video games. What? Michelle's getting a little too confident. Mackenzie, you've won a lot of crafts challenges, but if you keep going at this pace, it's not looking very good. This is a lot more frustrating than it looks, okay? <laughs> Alright, Michelle, I see you're finally back from gaming. Everyone looks like they still haven't done anything. <laughs> it looks like some of you are still trying to get the hang of folding, so I'm gonna add two hours to the time. You guys get eight hours total. Artists, fold a paper airplane. Everyone, come with me. Whichever one of you throws your paper airplane the farthest gets a huge advantage. Hopefully, I set the bar high for everyone. Fire in the hole! Whee! No, no! Oh. Go! Whoa! Oh. Not quite. Izzy, since you won the paper airplane competition, you can choose one of the artists and add them to your roster for 30 minutes. Ooh. Which artist do you think can help you the most? Viv. All right, Viv, for the next 30 minutes, you're working for Izzy. Good to work. <laughs> All of you are gonna guess how many sheets of paper are made in the world a year. Ooh, 2 billion. 30 trillion. 150 million. One Google. <laughs> okay. 
50 trillion. All right, the answer is 60 trillion. Oh! Viv, wait right there. Make someone wear this for the rest of the challenge. You can let anyone wear this. Oh god. You know what? You're getting karma. Oh! Viv's getting back at her boss. <laughs> Izzy, you can't take this costume off until the end of the challenge. Wait, I can't take the mask off? I spent all this time working on this, which was so hard, and it looks so stupid. So we're gonna don't even have a place to start. So we're gonna play another little game. Each one of you guys are gonna crumple up one sheet of paper into a ball, and whoever throws it the farthest gets to choose whose piece of art gets dunked in water. Crumple up a sheet of paper and come upstairs. Oh! oh. No, I broke that. What? Go, Jake! All right, Viv, since you won, here is a cup full of water. All right, Viv, grab that and bring it to the sink. Oh! You could set them outside to dry in the sun. Jazz adopted your dinosaur. This is a fortune teller. What's inside could be good or bad. Who wants to find out first? Me. Use a number. Seven. You're out some normal syrups. P U R T L E. <laughs> 100 push ups. <gasps> you have to make someone do 50 push ups. No. <laughs> you have to do 10 laps okay. around the house. You have 100 push ups. B L U E. One, two. You need to make 100 shots. <laughs> All right, everyone, get to your tasks. Viv chose me to do 50 more push-ups. All right, let's do it. Spray someone's art. <laughs> Jinx watering the plants. <laughs> Is this an aquatic creature without water? <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't see that one. Okay, let's go. What's this? Honey, look how far to go. I'm all done. You've got to be kidding me. I knew this was going to happen too. Hey Mackenzie, you should just search for Jake. He's hiding. No, I'll let that little coward come to me. Jake? Hey, Mackenzie, not on any electronics. No electronics. Jake, this isn't fair. Oh my oh, goodness. Jake. Oh my god, this is the shining. Ah! <laughs> Oh, he attacked my penguin. penguin. Down. You said you wanted to use your scissors? Hey, I'm gonna cut through. Oh! <laughs> my spider's dead. Everyone, we are down to our last hour. So I'm adding some fire to my dragon because it felt a little empty. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands in the air. The challenge is officially over. Good job, everyone. Izzy, tell me about your origami art. All right, so I got to do a dragon. Crazy colorful kind of Chinese New Year's dragon. Just personally, I probably would have liked the color scheme a little bit better if it was more of a pattern to it rather than random colors, but overall good piece. I have a dino diorama. I do like the creativity with the dinosaur from the egg. Tape in the bottom of the trees kind of makes it look a little bit messy. So for seven hours, I made this super extreme, super crazy 99% of people can't do an origami spider. <laughs> Michelle chopped its legs off, so I had to improvise, and I made a giant crane attacking it. Why is there a random piece of red paper underneath? 
I did a little ice robot panda holding a little robot and I gave him a little bamboo. But robots don't eat. Oh. <laughs> you took out its arm! <laughs> I made a big dragon, and I made two baby dragons. It's pretty similar to Izzy's, except for I feel like you have a color scheme here, which I do like. All right, Jazz, tell me about your zoo. These are all the zoo animals hanging out, having a little party. This is Ellie, this is Sparky, this is Thomas, that's Wanda. Is that Maverick? No. <laughs> we need to start eliminating them one at a time. Mackenzie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next person to go, unfortunately, Jake, <laughs> Michelle, they didn't make it. The next person that's getting eliminated is Jazz. All right, and keep in mind, this is just my opinion, but the official winner is Viv. <laughs> Viv, you have five free throws. Each time you make a free throw, your subscriber gets $1,000. Last shot. Oh! Well, Viv, you won $2,000 for the subscriber that you were paired up with. We have five artists and $10,000. You will each have eight hours to make the best art possible. I'm pairing each one of you with a subscriber and the subscriber wins whatever piece you make. So if you have $1,000 bills in that sculpture, that $1,000 goes to the subscriber you're paired up with. Anybody in the mood for some bread? I love bread. Your eight hours begins now. One quick rule, I don't want to get in trouble, so you may see people gluing their dollar bills, painting their dollar bills, or cutting it up, but we're not gonna do that today. I believe destroying dollar bills is illegal. So I've decided that I'm gonna create a bunch of triangle units and create art by sticking them together somehow. Still don't know exactly what I'm gonna do though. I already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a skateboard. I have to poop really bad, so. That might take up like an hour of my time. Jess, do you have a plan yet? <laughs> okay, I wanted to make something very detailed. So I'm gonna make a Jordan 1 out of money. Ben, do you have any ideas on what you're gonna do yet? Nope, but I made some stairs. Hey, Michelle, it looks like you're already getting started. So what's your plan? I'm making a skateboard. Okay. I'm going to be making a bouquet of flowers. And I feel like all the petals will take up a lot of money. So hopefully, if I win, my subscriber will win a lot of money. The first person to make a t-shirt out of a dollar bill wins something. It needs to look exactly like this. Look at Zach. Now it's a collar. No, just... That does not look like this. The sleeve oh. upside down. I think Wait, Michelle might have got it. Wait. All right, good job, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle got the t-shirt. I, I just was finishing it. Chase even has a little tie at the front. Wow. All right, Michelle, at any point in the competition, you can take $30 from anyone. Whoa. I love that. Paint the okay, wait, Ben, what are you doing? I'm making a giant heart out of small hearts now. You've been at this for over an hour. Ben, come on, be a little bit more creative, please. I'll make a dragon ben, out okay. of hearts. <laughs> now you're gonna be matched up with your subscribers. Felix used to be in the OG videos. Since you're subscribed, you're technically a subscriber and you get to choose one of the artists to pair up with. I want Ben! Oh. Thanks, Daddy. We're in the middle of a craft challenge and we're yes. making art out of money. Whatever I make and if I win, you get that amount of money. I have faith in you, Jake. Thank you, see that. Yeah, I'm doing it for you. That's what I like to hear. Guys, I'm gonna give you three minutes to make a money airplane. Your goal for this is to build something that will fly as far as possible. One minute left. Three, two, one. Time's up, everyone. Come with me. So whoever flies their airplane the furthest gets an advantage. Whoever gets the shortest distance gets a punishment. <laughs> Whoa! I would have went farther if that wasn't there! Oh. Ben, what is this? Oh. Oh, this is not good. That is not fair. This is great. That is not fair. So, ready to hear what you want? Grab someone and have them help you for 30 minutes. <laughs> 
Jazz, Ben, and Michelle. You each have 50 push ups. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is a roll of nickels. First person to open it up and dump it out in something. Yeah. Oh. No. Everyone that just opened it, give your nickels to Jazz. These coins, you can do whatever you want with. You can add it to your piece, you can keep it. You get to decide. How many dollars do you think that is? Why are you here now, Michelle? I'm trying to see if I should take Mackenzie's mouse. Oh. I'll take Mackenzie's like mouse head and then take the rest of things. <laughs> is she allowed to do that? She is. If you want to let Mackenzie win, be my guest. Hey, Jake, I'll miss you. I actually was working pretty fast and then Michelle just took my entire piece. I probably won't have a completed piece by the end. I made a really cool check for my shoe. It says, in God we trust across it. Exactly how many pennies are in this jar? I'll give you a grand. 554. 583. 544. 544. 527. The final count? 547. Five. Ah! Michelle, you were one off! Dang it! For being one off, I'll, I'll give you 200 bucks. To give you a <laughs> that was good. You guys have three minutes left. What? I was being stupid and holding my art like this, but I realized in order to finish, I can just flip it upside down and have it walk like this. I'm like, wee, 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 wee. I am all done with my mouse princess. Princess slash ballerina. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, time's up. So, Mackenzie, what am I looking at here? This is a mouse ballerina princess. I do see the mouse design, and, and I like how this skirt looks. It looks, it looks pretty creepy. It looks nice. Thank you. Good job. All right, Jake, I know your art got destroyed. What is this thing? It, originally, I was going for a centipede type of thing, but I realized that I didn't have enough time. It kind of reminds so. me of a mantis shrimp. Yeah, you did a really nice drop with the legs. These were supposed to be spines, but then I turned it upside down and realized I could just make them as legs. I made a skateboard, but I made one that actually works. It has wheels. Wait, what? And so when you roll it, the wheels move. That's actually kind of cool. I don't even think it looks that impressive like this. It looks more impressive when you go like that. I also want to incorporate the Kenzie All right, Ben, tell me about it. Well, this is my very majestic creature. It's an alien hammerhead shark seahorse dragon. All right, Felix, come over here real quick. Felix, I want to know your honest opinion. Are you happy with the piece of work that Ben put out? I'm super happy. Creative piece? I, I actually don't think it turned out too bad. Jess, not gonna lie, at first, I was pretty concerned about your piece, but I think you really pulled through at the end. Tell me what your process was for this. Okay, this is <clears throat> the Jordan 1. So I put one on the toe box. I just try to really utilize the details of the ones. This is probably one of your better pieces. Good job, Jess. We're gonna play sudden death rounds. Two people are gonna go head to head, and one subscriber will decide your fate. I have five quarters. Two of them have eagles on the back. <laughs> Who has the eagle? Uh, <laughs> I sent both over to Nico and I said, which do you like better? And the person that's getting eliminated... <laughs> ben! <laughs> we got feelings now. Kenzie, choose one. Uh, I Who has the eagle? Oh, <laughs> Jake! <laughs> against Jazz! I asked Namo from the home of the queen and the person getting eliminated, Jake! Oh my god! Michelle, why don't you choose first? Who has the eagle? Oh, Michelle, you're automatically in the final! Yeah! Mackenzie against Jazz. And keep in mind the people that are judging right now are only judging their art because they're subscribed, so hit that subscribe button right now and you might be judging their artwork soon. And the person moving on to the finals, Mackenzie! 
Alright, I asked Kristen which one he liked better, functional skateboard or dress up mouse. For the winner. Mackenzie, tell Michelle to tell you that you won! <laughs> if you want to let Mackenzie win, be my guest. All the money you used in that piece will be going to your subscriber. Thank you, Joe, for believing in me and picking me to be your partner. I hope you like it and get all this money. All right, you guys are gonna come run after this. Ready, everyone? Today, you will be running with me. Give me the money.